The Imo State Police Command has arrested 82-year-old Theophilus Okiri, a retired Director General of the Imo State Broadcasting Corporation, for allegedly killing his wife, Mrs. Beatrice Okiri, in a community within the Ngopala local government area of the state. According to reports, Mrs. Beatrice, who was in her 70s, was taken to an undisclosed hospital by indigents of the community after the incident occurred, but due to loss of blood, gave up the ghost at the hospital. The trauma light in this incident, and joined via phone by the public relations officer, Imo State Police Commander Orlando Ikoku. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Good morning, Plus TV Africa, for having me. Good morning. Please, can you speak to us on this incident and give us a brief account of what led to the murder of this woman? Well, well we received a, a report uh, about uh, an 82-year-old man, a retired director general of Emotive Broadcasting Corporation, Mr. T.C. Okeri, that he stabbed his wife and uh, the wife was rushed to the hospital where she gave up the ghost. So we moved the operatives of the divisional headquarters in Ngobala because the situation happened, the event, the incident happened at uh, Imeriyewe, a village called Imeriyewe in Ngobala, local government of Imo State. So by the time the divisional police officer led the team to that place, they discovered the woman uh, had given, given up the ghost and uh, they deposited the corpse in the mock and uh, went back to see if the man can be arrested. On getting to the house, they discovered that everybody had flee the the home. There was nobody, no single person in the house. But however, the the next day the man was located and uh, he's been taken into custody. There are reports that the man has an advanced stage of dementia. Is this in any way related to um, the killing? What are the circumstances around it? Are you aware as of this time? Yes, we, we, we have uh, that information, but uh, we cannot just uh, stand on that for now until medically proven. So, and then even if it is medically proven, there is a protocol to follow. It is only a court of competent jurisdiction that can uh, discharge him of the crime based on that ground. Right? So uh, what we, we are doing, what we should do as police officers at the appropriate time, if uh, that condition warrants that he will be left on the hook, so be it. But it is not for us to do at this point in time. Uh, considering the age of the victim and the husband, how soon will investigation be concluded for the case to be taken to court for expedited uh, hearing and resolution? Well, the investigation hasn't got a timeline. It depends on circumstances surrounding the matter in question. But I can tell you, we will expedite, expedite action and we will make sure we conclude the investigation as soon as possible because there is nothing... We can, there is no need to delay anything in this matter. Okay, what is the community saying about the arrest of the uh, culprit at this time? Are they cooperating with the investigation? Uh, you said earlier that some of them flee, fled their homes. Yes, 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 they are cooperating. They are cooperating. The information actually came from members of the community, actually. So uh, the, the community are cooperating. And I think the household the household where the man and the woman belong flee their home, possibly for fear of maybe being arrested or whatever. But, but I think they are beginning to return home since uh, the man has been located and all that. So I think uh, everything, the normalcy has returned in the family and the, 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 the village and everybody, all the stakeholders involved are cooperating in the family. All right, since I have you on the phone, let's look at other security situation in Emo State. With the um, continuing number of cases of COVID-19 there, what is the security situation as regards compliance with laid down um, guidelines for people to move about in the state? Well, I think, it's, uh, I think the, the situation here is uh, just where you have in almost all parts of the country where people are still finding it hard to adapt to the use of face masks. 
uh, we are still having almost everybody that moves from the street finding time to use. And uh, even those that have it, put it uh, below their jaw. Some of them have it hang, 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 hang on their ear. Some of them have it in their purse and in their pocket. So it is only when they see a security agent asking them about it by the rules that we need to put it the appropriate place it should be. But then the rule of social distancing is not strictly against you, like the way it should be. But, um, and then the issue of border, we are still trying our best, but there are still some inner routes where, because uh, the villagers know this route small, so there are some adjoining villages where you have, where, where you have within, within 10, 10, 15, 20 meters between Imo and, Am and, Am and Ambra, the two villages for habit. So it makes it very, very hard for us to police those areas because there are no, no specified rules. So there are no serious main roads around, around that area. So they take all those inner routes to beat the, the identified and allocated checkpoints. But we are still doing our best. But I can tell you that uh, the security situation here is calm and we are doing the best that we could do within our disposal. Public Relations Officer Imo State, thank you very much, Orlando, for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you.